Hey there, Scorpio. How are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the month of September. Scorpio, I am using the Hermit Tarot for you today. This is what it looks like. Actually, this is what it looks like. It came in this plain white box and it's called the Hermit Tarot. All right, Scorpio, this is your love reading for the month of September. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the sign of Scorpio. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the zodiac sign of Scorpio this month of September? In their love life, we have, what is this? So this deck, guys, it's a tarot deck. There's 78 cards. And uh, instead of the usual cups, swords, wands, etc., we have this just writing this came out reversed it says i don't want to lose you well it's reversed i don't want to lose you well it looks seems as though according to the tarot that you've been lost already i don't want to lose you look it's reversed well you've uh You've lost Scorpio already. I'm seeing a carnival, you know, just uh, an event and there's like a group of people and there's somebody that is really scared and they're like, oh my God, I lost, I lost Scorpio. Like, where is Scorpio? Where is Scorpio? You better go look for him. You better go look for him. I feel like they've been looking or they need to get to looking. They're just realizing perhaps that they lost you. Anyways, I don't want to lose you. Looks too late. Damn, too late. That's scary. Like, that is panic. What I saw there, it's a large group of people walking, and there's somebody seriously freaking out because they can't see you. Whoa, that's not, that is panic. So there's somebody panicking here, just realizing. Can you imagine that? Like, when you just, you realize, you know, think about like a child or just, yeah, a child you're they're there and then you look down oh my god that's a nightmare isn't it that is a terrible position to be in that nobody wants to find themselves in it is a nightmare truly so for many of you this is something like somebody is realizing like picture that somebody just like they're there you know and there's all these people and they're just realizing that moment there like where Where's Scorpio? Seems as though you've lost them. Now you have, um, I don't know what your choices are, but one of them could certainly be you go look for them. Maybe it's not too late and they're still close by and you can still, you know, reach them. I'm too afraid to talk to you. Ooh, well, well, well. I'm too afraid to talk to you. I left because you told me to. Since when, like right now I heard, since when are they so obedient? I left because you told me to. Excuses. Excuses. I'm too afraid to talk to you. So there's somebody here that is just, they're, they're afraid for sure. And, um, well, it, it seems as though they're afraid, well, to talk to you to express themselves, to communicate with you, to get in contact with you, to talk about something. And they left because you told me to. So I'm getting that this person, okay, for a select a few is somebody that tends to listen a lot to others and not themselves. Something that I'm noticing right now is this, like, you see that sandwich? You see that? This card here is this one light if i follow you i could lose everything if i follow you what if i follow you so like right now i'm picturing that person that is at this large event and they've lost you and what do they have to do actually what do they have to do to find like to find you what do they have to do they have to follow you in a sense go look for you and look, if I follow you, I could lose everything. Yeah, because in following you, they will, you know, realize 
it, you know, it's think about it like this and the person there at that it's at this carnival, this large event, if they go looking for you and don't find you, oh my God, nightmare, right? Nightmare. So this gives me the feel of somebody that is just the fear of, of losing you is, um, um, not necessarily of losing you because I feel like there's a realization here that they've lost you in some way already, but I feel like they're holding themselves back from going to look for you, which would be following you because they are afraid of the outcome. The outcome being that they don't find you at all. Again, wouldn't that be a nightmare? Oh my God, I am a parent, guys. And that is like a parent's worst, one of parents' worst nightmares, like losing your child. I have an aunt, guys, who she actually had a mental breakdown. They were, um, I was not there, but I was told about it. The, the entire, some, the family, uh, the family went somewhere some sort of outdoor event. It could have been a carnival. I don't know. It was something like that. And uh, my aunt uh, lost her her kid and she she couldn't she couldn't find the kid and she was looking everywhere. She seriously had a mental breakdown. Like she was she has not been the same since then. The child was found. It just it so happened that one of one of the family members had taken the kid the kid home. And I don't know, she didn't realize there was miscommunication there, but she was going crazy looking for her for her kid and she didn't she didn't find him. But later on, you know, in the day, she found out the kid's actually at home with, you know, so and so with some family another family member. Uh, but even even though, you know, that it 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 ended in a good way, it affected her so badly, guys, that um, she had some sort of mental breakdown. I know that she's never been the same since then. It was it was just very um, hard to go through, if you can imagine. All right, so yeah, if I follow you, I could lose everything. Absolutely, I feel like this person is just so full of fear that um, the, of just confirming perhaps their worst nightmare that they have in fact lost you, that they're choosing not to follow you, not to go after you in a sense at all, because the fear, the fear, the thought of, of even confirming like for sure, for sure, for sure, there's no, no doubt that they're lost forever. Like you've lost Scorpio forever. They're choosing instead of confronting that. Okay finding out um, they're choosing not to do anything at all. Um, and look, they're afraid. They're re they're afraid to talk to you. They're, af they're afraid in general, okay, about just whatever exchange of, you know, will happen. Excuse me, if they do so, but they for sure have lost you. And again, I feel like they know that and there's a panic here kind of like fight or flight, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to freeze. You're going to, you know, run. What are you going to do? And I feel like this person is kind of just freezing and not doing anything. And I, this feels like excuses to me. I left because you told me to. This is like excuses. It sounds like just a bunch of excuses that they could be telling themselves right now to just comfort to comfort them or, you know, they're just things that they're telling themselves. Uh, this is them trying to rationalize perhaps their behavior or what happened here. It doesn't, you didn't necessarily have to tell them leave. Maybe some of you, maybe you did. But again, this, I left because you told me so, is this person just, you know, finding reasons um, to explain uh, why it is that they did what they did or, or did not do. Be more selfish. Oh, goodness. I do feel like this person was very selfish. This person was very selfish, guys. Absolutely. This, like right now, I heard gre uh, greedy there. 
because this is red and it's reminding me of the root chakra. So this would be like a debilitated or um, just an imba uh, imbalanced uh, root chakra, which does tend to like withhold. So like I'm getting um, vibes of uh, like chasty, greedy kind of energy. Like like right now I'm seeing a leprechaun, you know, like this leprechaun, like me gold kind of thing. Be more selfish. This is a, this, uh, let's just say that they at the very least acted selfishly. Now, whether they've, you know, worked on themselves or not, uh, worked on that selfishness, I think the answer is yes. But one thing's for sure, they were really selfish, more selfish, be more selfish. This, I feel like they thought a lot just about themselves, okay? Will you choose me? Will you choose me? I, from what I see here, you know, it's like, Will you choose me? Will you choose me? It looks like there's not even a choice. You're asking Scorpio, Crosswatch, or whoever's watching here, like, will you choose me? Where's the choice? First of all, where's the choice? Like, you're not even there. How can I choose you? Will you choose me? Goodness, there's somebody living in their fears. I'm telling you, somebody's living in their fears. I just want you all the time. Ace of Cups. This person thinks about you a lot. I miss you. Do, do you? They miss you. Look, I just want you all the time. Ace of Cups right next to it. This person thinks about you a lot. They want to be with you. It's like you're just a part of their day. And... Um, it, it's it's something that they know like every day they're reminded by their feelings these feelings this ace of cups like there there's something there that they're wanting if you can imagine a cup there that they want that needs to be filled and it's like they know that you have that magic potion perhaps right let's call it that is going to be able to fulfill them they have this this cup they have this cup of love and it's an ace of cups, guys. So it's it's something that I feel like for many of you uh, still has not like fully perhaps developed. And that could be for many reasons. Maybe it wasn't allowed to. I just want you all the time. Oh my God. That's because they miss you. They miss you. Look, happiness is my priority. I feel like in the past, their happiness wasn't their priority. I feel like they themselves were the priority. They were focusing on all the wrong things. All the wrong things. They were building a tower. Again, this is the root chakra color red. Well, this is like an orange red sacral root chakra. They were building a tower. Again, I'm seeing this as a debilitated uh, chakra. So it's like building a tower. You're building, 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 and then before you know it, this big building you've been uh, crafting, it just uh, falls apart. And you realize, holy crap, I've been in, uh, investing uh, my energy, my time on all the wrong things all this time. And look, it seems as though their happiness, love, right, is a priority now. And well, if happiness is their priority, you're, you're that person that comes into their mind. You're that person that's able to fill this cup, this priority that they have. Now they want happiness. This person was pursuing all those things that they thought were going to make them happy. And now perhaps that they have them or don't, whatever, okay? Not looking into the past there, what happened? But point is that now they realize that, uh, well, they they want happiness now and you're it and they miss you and they're wondering if you miss them too 
So it's like if they feel, they feel like they're wondering if you feel the same about them. Okay, so that's like what's happening now. Future energy, future developments, future, future developments. Number five could be of significance. Future, what can you expect to be developing? My nose is itching, sorry. Love me. Love me. Somebody wants you to love them. They, they, don't, they, I'm telling you, you Scorpio, you've, 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 you're lost. You're lost in the crowd. No, they lost you in the crowd, but I think you know where you're going. And, uh, they want you to love them. I feel like you, you loved them before. You wanted to love them before. Now they want you to love them now. Love me. Love me. Do you think about me too? I love you. Do you love me too? I think about you. Do you think about me too? They want you to feel what they, what they feel. They want you to want what they want. You are my everything. Words do hurt. I'm open to compromise. Oh, this person wants you to love them, Scorpio. Many of you, you've withdrawn. You've withdrawn. My nose, guys, I'm so sorry. They want you to love them. So that means they don't feel that. Whatever they felt before, they don't feel it. I'm telling you, they've, they're, they don't feel you there anymore. You've gone, you've strayed away energetically. They, you're not there. Yep, they're feeling it, that coldness. They want you to love them. They're thinking about you and they want you to think about them and they're realizing that you're everything it is that they want and you're not, they don't have you. You're not there. <sighs> Words do hurt. Words do hurt. I'm in so much pain. Maybe there were things that you said that they said that were hurtful. Maybe this is just a very sensitive person. Words do hurt. And again, that goes with like the fear in the situation where they're scared of what you will say or what's going to be the exchange. There's words here that hurt. Okay. Hurt, words hurt this person as well. Something you should know. I'm open to compromise. They're open to compromise. Are you open to compromise? The first thing that popped into my head right, right now when I asked, like, are you open to compromise was, well, I heard a voice in my head say, well, were they open to compromise? And then I heard another voice say, wait a minute, I'm not asking you about the past. I'm asking you about the present moment. Are you open to compromise in the present moment? Don't look at the past to answer that question. But, uh, hey, that might be the first thing you do. <laughs> I'm open to compromise is what they're telling you, what, you know, and they're in a lot of pain. They see the light. They see the light. Look, I've never imagined so much perfection. It's like you're every, you're everything there. They want it. You're like their happiness. You're like their, their love. And I feel like that, that is not being reciprocated. You're not giving them that love, that attention or that energetic exchange that they're, you're not giving that. The, I'm telling you, you've strayed away, Scorpio. You have. We saw it from the beginning. You have strayed away from this person. And they're realizing that now. I'm open to compromise. They're open to compromise, Scorpio. They're in so much pain and they see the light. That's future. They're, they want you to love them. And uh, they want to compromise and they're hurting and they've been illuminated. They see things that they didn't see before. They, they, they have a, a higher perspective, uh, an expansive point of view now. Advice, that's future. Advice, advice for Scorpio, advice for Scorpio. Look, I am terrified 
I'm in so much pain. Yep. Panic. I'm telling you, I keep seeing that somebody's realizing, oh, wh where are they? Where are they? Do you even see me that way? So now they're questioning everything. They're questioning everything. This person just, they want you really bad. Like they just, they do. And do you even see me that way? Notice that I asked for advice. Do you even see me that way? So, you know, I, I feel like there's things here. This is advice for you, Scorpio, in this situation. I feel like the advice is to, you know, think about how you feel now. Think about how you feel about this person. There's a lot that you need to process and um, and, and that you need to to think about. Do you even see me that way? Yeah, there's a lot of things that you have to consider about this person. How have you, um, how have your feelings changed and transformed through this entire ordeal? Like, where do you stand now? How do you see this person? You know, now that this is happening, like, where do you stand? I feel like what this is saying, and it's just bringing that up. Like, do you even see me? Like, how do you see this person now? Again, we saw that light there. So there's a lot of things that you're having to like uh, that you will be considering that you should consider and like, you know, take in. Do you even see me that way? This is also something that I think that they're asking themselves. Like they're wondering, like if you feel the same way about them, like have your feelings changed, Scorpio? They're, these are things that they're asking themselves. You hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. Let me have you. Oh, it's not that easy. You hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. Um, you know, something that I'm getting from this card right now is um, it's this to me seems like something is not taken. Like it wasn't you were they hurt you or hurt feelings were not taken seriously actions that were taken that hurt you scorpio hurt another okay um it it was it wasn't treated seriously you hurt me but that's okay i guess i feel like this might be also the way that you're feeling scorpio like oh yeah you hurt me and then now you just kind of expect me to like be okay with it like yeah okay i guess like um you want me back right like you want my love you want this uh yeah you hurt but you hurt me and but but now you want me and uh yeah i guess that's okay right yeah no i feel like that's you scorpio like uh-uh Yep. So those are things that I feel like it's just, it's advice. You hurt me, but that's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. So, you know, think about what, uh, maybe not think about, but to me that just says, you know, that there is uh, some examining, there's more to something here. It's not that easy i guess is what this is saying it's it's not just it's not that easy of just saying yeah okay i'll forgive you it's not that easy and it's not that easy with a scorpio it's not just like i'll forgive you uh oh if the scorpio just allows themselves to just uh, act on what they're feeling they will punish you They will, but if a Scorpio um, forgives you before they're ready to forgive, they will punish you. I guess that's what I will. That's what I should have said. They will punish you when you just want them to love you, like just take me back or just do this or just do that. Like I'm sorry, and you're like I could be begging them or maybe not begging, but again like you should you, you. let me have you well uh you sure you want the scorpio you sure you want scorpio when uh clearly uh, it seems as though they're not uh sure 
that they truly want to forgive you all the way. They will punish you, sting you repeatedly. So it's best, okay, if you're like the one that's looking at the scorpion, you're like, hey, you know, um, I want you back. I don't care. Like, I just want you back. You think about it twice. You should give the Scorpio the time it is that they need or be smart. Okay. One of you needs to be smart. This to me just says there's a lot of things that you need to consider. There's a lot of things that you need to still consider and process Scorpio. Look, you're still it hurt. There's something here that's just not rubbing you the right way. And you need to balance that out. Correct that not necessarily on your own it might be something that the both of you need to do together. But just something to think about, okay? That is advice for you. Let's get an oracle message. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. This is called the Dream Decoder deck. And it's a dream deck. It's not an oracle deck. But I'm using it as, a, as an oracle message. Let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. I've had this deck for a really long time, over a year, and I've never used it, I don't think, for public readings. And well, this month of September, it wanted to make its debut, the Hermit Tarot. We have shopping. Stores in a dream can indicate what you want or think you need in life to be happy. Interesting. Also, shopping represents choice, the possibilities on the possibilities on offer, the decisions you need to make, the attitudes or responses available to you. Browsing in a shopping mall department store or market or window shopping downtown may be a prompt for you to review your opportunities. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're kind of like in a place now because of everything that has happened. There's a lot of things that you need to consider, right? And that could certainly manifest in your love life as you saying, well, I'm window shopping right now, which could sound pretty messed up, right? Like I'm window shopping, meaning like you're looking, you're, you're looking at your options uh, in, in, in a romantic partner. <sighs> and then right now I'm being reminded of that hard words hurt. Um, the part, let me see, prompt for you to review your opportunities. The particular item on sale may narrow down the dream's meaning. If you're buying clothes, you're seeking protection, but also an identity. If it's food or drink, you need to attend to your basic emotional needs. If you can't find the item you're looking for, this is a sign of some general frustration with life. Well, they can't find something that they're looking for. Frustration for sure. Uh, look, or let me see, hold on. If you can't find the item that you're looking for, this is a sign of some general frustration with life or of a particular need or desire that isn't being satisfied. If you're shoplifting, a part of you may feel the only way to get what you want may be to break the rules. Shopping. Interesting. So I see both energies uh, here, both of them. That person can't find what they're looking for. And well, that's uh, causing frustration there. And it's causing them to be incredibly uh, dissatisfied. And then you, I feel like you're just like window shopping. You're like, I don't know what I want. I'm still, I'm, I'm looking, I'm browsing. Interesting. So those are dynamics that we have going on. Let me put this back. There could be a biker for some of you here. I saw a bike. And uh, let's grab a card from the Eye of Zen. Scorpio. Closing message, closing message for Scorpio. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. It says, get out, soulmate obsession yeah look there's an obsessive energy there um like when i said there's some obsession here i said well they it kind of they kind of have to be because of the situation then i thought panic um because there's it is serious right and when something serious you do obsess over it it's not um 
healthy, but you obsess over something, right? Especially when it's a dire situation. Um, soulmate, a connection from your past life has emerged. Embrace the connection. Interesting. And it says obsession. Be careful. There are strong desires and attachments. Yep. We saw it like that person wants you like, love me now. I need you now. Obsession. Again, a person dissatisfied. They're feeling unfulfilled. What did that card say? Like they're, they've been shopping for you. They've lost you. They can't find you. And now it's like, they, they, they need you. They need you. Oh, so it's kind of like, you know, when something is like limited edition or something and you took your time, like, oh, there's this new product out. Okay. Scorpio. And, uh, well, you, there's a limited time where you could pick it up or it's gone. It's going to be really hard to find it. And if you want it, you're going to have to get it in the, on the black mark and it's going to cost you. So that's what this person is realizing. Holy crap, this is costing me a lot. Um, so yeah, obsessions, be careful. There are strong desires and attachments. This is what I have for you, uh, Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.